everybody, it's Jay with Jay Diggs History. Uh, normally metal detecting up in the hills of northern New Jersey. However, today I'm at what's called Dig It Dude 2, sponsored by the Jersey History Hunters and uh, their group on YouTube. The link will be in the description below. It's a two-day event, um, and it benefits the Soldiers Camp Freedom. And it's for uh, soldiers, firefighters, police officers, EMS personnel that um, suffer from PTSD, which is close to me, being a firefighter and a paramedic myself. Um, slow goings right now, I'm up 28 cents in a modern clad, but um, very good event. Got a lot of people here, it's sold out. We're on a farm that dates back to the early 1700s. Um, there's a house behind me that is gonna be hard to see with the sun, but that house goes back to the early 1800s apparently. And um, it's pretty nice, nice field. We have access pretty much to the entire farm. Um, it's a big farm, so. With that being said, as soon as I find some, I'll let you know. Enjoy. So I don't know how everybody else is faring. Um, I'm not doing that great, but it is a nice day, nice form. There's gotta be something here. I did just find this, however, which is pretty cool. Working along the corn rows right here. I got an old plow blade. That's pretty neat. Well, lighting today stinks. <laughs> Bright sun. Um, Digging in a hole here. I'm right on the edge of where apparently the original farmhouse stood going back in late 1600s, early 1700s. Uh, I just dug out two square nails. And then beneath the square nails, strangely enough, was a razor. Old razor. Hopefully there's something else. So I found something a little unique. I would almost think it was a clipped coin, but it's about the size of a penny. And it's not silver. I don't know. It's cut in half. Maybe a token. I'll clean it up when I get home. Well, I don't know if it's anything precious, but it's a little pendant. Right here. It's got a little gemstone in it. It's silvery in color. Huh. Well, as they say on Stealth Diggers, mission accomplished. I got myself a little flat button. Right there, a little tacoed, very thin. No shank, but there's a post there. There was one. I wonder if it was a, I don't know. I think it was Tomback. It's got some green. But there you go, something old, finally. Nice. Well, the afternoon's starting to look up. Got myself another flat button. This one's a little smaller. It was ringing up about a 17 on the Manticore. Right about there. Tiny flat button. Well, you can see that there in the sunlight. It's a shiny tomback. It's got the little spun back. That's nice and old. Like I said, right there is the original home site. Well, it's not old, but I think it's interesting. I think this is the barrel to an air gun. <laughs> Farm field finds. All right. I had a fairly high signal. It was a little bit of a scratchy indication on the 2D screen. And I pulled out this. It's like a 45 caliber bullet. 
And after I pulled that out, I was still getting an 88 signal. And I was digging and digging and digging. And I got, I don't know. So I'm what, almost pinpointer deep? And I pulled out a big old Croto Bell half. Such a shame, such a beautiful bell. That's beautiful, the petals, get that cleaned up. Awesome. Well, got it cleaned up, not seeing a number or a maker's mark on it. Looks like a drilled shank. So I'm guessing it's a pretty old one. That's nice. I just had a really crummy 60s tone, um, but something nice popped out. Right there. I think it's silver washed. Not sure if it's a silver wash or tomback. Let me get it cleaned up. Well, it's definitely shiny. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything on it. However, even though there's no post, look at that back mark. It's a, it's a crown. That's cool. There are some words. I can't make them out right now. Well, I'll find out what that says. Nice button. So cruising along in this field, um, you know, right where I've been, and uh, I just pulled out a dandy button. There you go. Nice big dandy button. Don't see anything on it, but it does have a shank. So that's cool. Imagine a coat adorned with these, you know, eight or ten of these. That's pretty neat. And it probably at one time had a nice gold finish or silver finish to it. So I got another 50s tone. It's round in the hole. I'm thinking I have another button. Right here. Yeah, it looks like I had a shank. See anything on it? Nope, just a flat button. Very cool. Uh, good morning all. It's day two at uh, Dig It Dude 2. Um, today is uh, some free hunt. They got the seed hunt at 9 o'clock. And uh, then it's over. Um, so my plan is, since I got here early, I'm going to go back to the original farmhouse where I was. And I'm going to do that with a smaller coil to get through some of the iron. And then uh, from there, do the seed to hunt in nine, a couple hours of that, hour and a half, two hours. And then uh, head out to one of the fields adjacent to the old farmhouse and uh, see what's out there. But, you know, here's what I'm looking at this morning. It's cold. It's only about 30 degrees right now. But the sun's coming up. And that's where we're at. So, see you in a little bit. Well, chasing a deep tone here. And I got something small. Sounded a lot better than it looks. We'll see, it's about a penny size. Let's see what it is. I'm looking right here. Don't see anything yet. Let's get that looked at. So I got myself a toasted Indian. Not quite sure the year. I think it's there's an 18 on it. Might say 1891. I'll have to get it cleaned up at home. It's definitely thin. It's not a fatty, so. But it was deep. It was down there. I do need to recheck this hole though, because at one point in time that was ringing up an 88. So I need to see something else down there. Well, this isn't an overly spectacular item, but it's an old relic. Looks like it's a uh, 
the part where a lantern wick would go through like an oil lamp or something. Right there. Something I missed yesterday though, and it was screaming. So somebody did a no-no. I left the hole open right where I am. And uh, I filled in that hole for them. And six inches next to it, I had a nice 57 tone and got rewarded. Looks like I got myself a button. Yep. Yeah, nice little flat button. Good start to the day. Let's see if there's anything on it. Well, not seeing anything on it. I did nick it a little bit. You see the shiny silver. You see the shiny silver where I clipped it. So, yeah, more pics when I get home. So I'm kind of retracing yesterday's steps a little bit, and I just thought I had a shotgun shell, which is really funny. And then I uh, went to go pick it up, and the clump of dirt it was in broke apart, and it kind of spun away. And I was like, oh, man. And I'm like, you know, I really should make sure it's a shotgun shell. And I'm glad I did, because it turns out it's a button. So she's buried down in here. Nice little flat button. I have a little bit of a high hope. Um, somebody did find a French regimental button from the Revolutionary War on this hunt yesterday. Not where I am, but still. You can always dream. Well, somehow I walked right over this yesterday. I have no idea how. But it was screaming at me in the hole. Right here. That is a Either a doorknob or an old drawer pull. That's pretty cool. Old. So I'm out doing the seeded hunt, which is where they go out and plant targets for you to find, and then some have tickets on them that tell you if you want a prize or not. But I just found a 47 Roosevelt, so silver. The CD hunt didn't go so well for me. Um, all I got was that Roosevelt time. So I came back out to the farm fields. Um, been going slow, but I just uh, dug a really deep hole. I got chunks of a uh, chunks of a pocket knife and a Jefferson nickel and not a war nickel right there pocket knife Jefferson nickel and pretty deep so it's a shame there isn't more of this walking along one of these rows here in the farm field and I got a bent over tailpiece to a spoon. Oh well. Well, asking ye shall receive. It's been plowed over something fierce, but that there is the rest of my spoon. <laughs> It's funny because yesterday when I was home and cleaning some of my stuff, you know, my daughter was asking me, um, she's like, Daddy, are you happy you found a flat button? Are you happy you found a broken crotal bell? And she was asking, like, she was making sure that I had a good time when I was here. Um, and I did. I, I, am, I am happy that I found those things. It's history. And it's, uh, it's a link to the past that... Um, Many of us will never, ever know. Uh, you know, some people don't care. It seems mundane and kind of silly. But for me, I like history. I think it's really cool finding things that people used way back when. Let's go see there's more. There is an old saying that says, karma is a bitch. Right there was a hole that somebody did not fill in. And right there is my hole. 
that has something large and round in it. Right there. Let's see what we got. Looks thick. Guessing American. Heh. <laughs> Well, I do believe I have a clad quarter, which is sad. Well, I guess it's not too much of a bitch then. There's my quarter. It's a clad quarter, 1965. One year before, or one year after, silver was stopped. So I'm in the uh, weeds. And right behind me here, that's the original house cellar going back to the 16, 1700s. A uh, lot of iron, a lot of junk in this little area that I'm in. Um, one of the ladies here, her name is Kim, she just pulled out a beautiful brooch uh, right next to where I pulled out the wheat penny earlier today. I, I stayed a little too close to the tree, I guess. Um, but I just got a squeeze box reed. Right here. That is the reed to a squeeze box or an accordion. I believe this is the taillight assembly to an old motorcycle. That ends this adventure. That's uh, Dig It Dude 2. My first time at a organized dig. I had a great time, met some nice people. Uh, I don't know if you can see the chickens running around behind me. You know, but we're on a nice active farm that dates back to the 1700s. And, a lot of people found some interesting things. Uh, one lady by me found a really beautiful brooch. Looked like it used to have a picture in it. Um, you know, there's been KG2s, shoe buckles, all sorts of wonderful things found. So, time to head back, see if we win any raffles. You know, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Well, that's it. No prizes won, unfortunately. But hey, it was a good time. Found some nice things, a lot of nice buttons, and I can't wait to do it again next year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know what to do if you did. Until next time, see ya.